This is video from May Day, from the clash between about 60 members of the far right and far left outside Cider Riot in Northeast Portland. This is the event that Patriot Prayer Leader Joey Gibson says led to the district attorney's rioting charge against him. So they provided the evidence to the grand jury, and instead of letting them make a decision, the DA went ahead and pressed charges, and it's because of this rally coming up on Saturday. In terms of what I did is I showed up to Cider Riot to show, I want everyone to see the Cider Riot throwing events for Rose City Antifa. Gibson says the charge is completely unfounded. And so they pepper sprayed me multiple times. They, they spit on me several times. They pushed me several times. Um, and then, you know, that was my crime of standing on a sidewalk. For years, Patriot Prayer members have been coming to Portland to fight with anti-fascist protesters like Antifa, who have also been violent. He says his charge and others are an attempt to keep them away from this weekend's planned dueling protests. The ironic part is I was totally done with Portland. Like, I have really enjoyed not going into that hate-filled city. Uh, but now that they want to try to fight back and they want to try to take away my First Amendment, I'm a free speech advocate, so we'll see what I do next. Gibson expects the court will tell him to stay away from events in the Rose City. Do you plan on being at the event on Saturday? I don't know yet, but they're, they're sure they're definitely trying to encourage me to go, that's for sure, mm-hmm. after doing this. Western State Center sent a statement saying the charges against Gibson and other right-wing protesters are welcome and overdue. They say, quote, Gibson likes to portray himself as mainstream, but violence and hate have always been at the heart of his paramilitary group. His gatherings have been frequented by bigoted, violent members of the Proud Boys and self-avowed neo-Nazis, skinheads, and white supremacists. Earlier in the day today, we reached out to the DA's office and they said they would not discuss any charges. Again, Gibson told me he's turning himself in today, but does plan on getting out as soon as possible. Meanwhile, he and other right wing demonstrators are facing a civil suit. We've reported on this before. The owner of Cider Riot filed a million dollar lawsuit against them, citing attacks, threats and loss of business. Back to you guys.